Okay. I'm glad to have you here again this week. And we are getting now to about 15,000 feet above sea level on this topic of retirement that we've been talking about now for a couple of weeks. If you remember in the build-up, I said, whether you think you are too young to run, sorry, whether you think you are too young to prepare for retirement, or you are too old to prepare for retirement, those thoughts should have been banished if you understand what I shared under the myths surrounding retirement. And from this week, I will now be delaying the how. And that is one thing I hope you have found um, consistent with this channel. We don't just talk theory. We are deliberate to share the how with you in very real practical steps. Therefore, you need to fasten your seatbelt, wear your safety uh, boots, get your personal protective equipment on because the real ride around retirement is just about to start. Therefore, how do you prepare for retirement? How do you plan for retirement? I will be talking about this under three broad umbrellas. I am not in any way saying that this is exhaustive, but under these three umbrellas, I will be sharing the DIY with you on the practical steps, the specific things you can do to prepare yourself for retirement. Now, what are these three umbrellas? The first will be the cognitive preparation. Cognitive preparation. Cognition speaks to your thinking process, speaks to your paradigm, speaks to your worldview, speaks to all the things that affect your thoughts and your feelings. All right? And I am starting with that because it is the center point from where everything else flows. You will understand in a bit. The second umbrella under which I will be exploring this how to prepare for retirement will be the behavioral preparation. This has to do with how you act to yourself, to those who are around you, to those who are far away. How are you perceived? What is your relative positioning to your wife, to your children, to your friends, to your church, to your mosque, to your community? What are your behavioral preparation for retirement? And you'll be shocked that the third, but certainly not the least on the scale, is financial. Financial then has to do with how much money do you have? How much money can you make? How much money are you setting yourself up to save, to have available during your retirement? It covers things like how do you pick your bills? How do you take care of your medical expenses? What are you doing to ensure that you never grow, go broke with or without children or without anybody's support? These are the things we are going to cover under the financial preparation. Are you excited? I am. I'm glad to be in a position to share this with you. These are not necessarily things that I knew myself before I went this far in my journey. But I'm glad I know now and I'm glad I'm in a position to share with you. So come along with me on the ride. So let's just get going with the cognitive part and see how far we can go this week. I'm certain we can finish. Now, the cognitive part speaks about your mental processes around retirement. Remember very early in this series, I mentioned the fact that the first thing you must do under the, cognit under the cognitive preparation is to come to terms with the fact that you will have to retire at some point. All right? That thought process, once it is settled for you, helps you to think clearer. It takes away the fear because if something is inevitable, there is no point expending energy, fretting, worrying, and avoiding it because you can't. A better way to go about it is to say, now that this is inevitable, 
What do I do about it? Part of the cognition or cognitive process is also to remember that retirement means a few things that you need to be conscious of. Number one is that you will slowly stop being this powerful person that you currently are. And believe me, everybody has a measure of power, even if it is just in your family. As retirement beckons, if you are a senior member of your organization, you need to settle it in your mind that you will not always remain powerful. The boys that you were that you are hiring today, the boys that were hired five weeks ago, at some point they will become the boss. They will become the leaders. They will become those that call the shots. Settle that in your mind. Don't struggle with it. You need to also always remember that you will not always be this active. One of the things that cause problems for retirees is the fact that until something drastic or dramatic happen, they fail to realize that they are not the same person they used to be 5, 7, 15 years before the incident. Many times, it's the occurrence of a domestic accident or a major health crisis that makes them realize that you, you are no longer the person you were when you were 40, when you were 45, that things have changed. Settling this in your mind help you to take on that journey with some more intentionality and with some more deliberate steps such that you no need to run into crisis before you don't start to make adjustments that many times are too late. There is a lot more to cover on this cognitive part, but I would rather pause it here so that next week I can devote a proper uh, edition to it to have all the thoughts in one place and I'm sure you don't want to miss it. I say to you again, this is the most important preparation for retirement, your cognitive preparation, how you settle it in your mind and how you are mentally and emotionally ready for it. If you win here, the behavioral, the financial become a lot easier to deal with. And I'm looking forward to seeing you next week when I share other content. Until then, show us some love, share with other people. Remember that this channel is called the Delight Channel and that my name is still T-Mac and that all we are trying to do here is what? Make a little difference. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.